Okay, now let's try. Making the perfect coffee right here on film. This is warming to the heart. I dig that. I really dig that. Hi. <laughs> so I ate really unhealthy the past two dinners. I had pizza, so I'm craving something healthy. And I've been wanting to try uh, miso soup because I've been reading The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone. And she actually says that she eats miso soup every day for breakfast. So I think it'd be really convenient to have some miso soup on hand. And I also don't actually make it <laughs> according to her recipe. So I'm just gonna do a little half, I won't say the word, half beep kind of recipe. So I'm just gonna boil some water, put some miso paste in there and a few veggies and call it a day. And let's see how it turns out. Fill up our pot. I like to rinse it out first. I got some ladies' dishes too, and I got a like five dishes in there. So I'm gonna just like put this on to boil, and then I'll see you later. The water boiled and now it's simmering and I'm just going to add not the bad carrots. I'm going to add some carrots. I'm going to chop them a little bit because I don't want them just to be full, you know. I'm going to be using shiro miso, this much onion dice. I have some mushrooms that are going off. They're like, you know, on their last day or so here. Yeah, but let's chop up these onions real quick. Just for onions. Let's chop up these carrots because they're going to take the longest time and I really don't feel like doing a whole cooking thing right now so I'm just going to chop them and freeze and these are just the cheater carrots you know the kind that you buy that are pre-cut organic though that's good so I'm just going to chop it three and I put my hand over it because they tend to fly all around the room and that's not good I'm going to turn that up a little more again so I'm basically cutting them in three, three at a time. They're not the exact size of each other, but as close as you can get. Some of the carrots are definitely thicker than others, so maybe I'll do these ones a little into four. I am so hungry right now, guys. I ate, ooh, that one's not good. I ate like pizza I, i've been i don't know it's like i just haven't been in the mood for healthy food and i know i need to and so i bought like almost a hundred dollars worth of groceries the other day so i could eat healthier and then i went and ordered pizza again like come on girl i think i'm just craving salt like to be honest with you i think i'm just craving salt okay so the carrots are in we're gonna turn that up a little more again now, I have some frozen beets. My mom had beets in her garden this summer, and she um, chopped them, baked them, and then gave me a whole bunch. So I have this bag full of these, and I'm kind of scared right now because it's going to turn whenever I use purple, and I don't know if I want my cutting board to be half purple. So I think we're just going to use a glass, yeah, a glass plate because it should come off of that. And we're gonna be really careful with this. And I'm not gonna do too much, and I'll tell you why. I don't know why, I love beets, but they tend to make me constipated. TMI alert, TMI alert. Yes. I thought that they were supposed to make you more regular, but for some reason, if I eat too much, I do feel a little bit constipated. So. Okay, so I'm just trying to slice these up. I have no idea if you can see what I'm doing right now because of my setup. I have sort of a new camera setup and I'm just trying it out. But I don't have the front flip camera. I have a GoPro right now that I'm using, so. Okay. Ah, so my fingers are red. Very earthy. 
you don't like the taste of dirt, <laughs> you might not like beets. Now, I'm going to put these into pots. I don't know if you can see that either. It's going to turn the whole soup pink and red and purple. I'm going to put a little bit on the plate because there's a lot of vitamins in the juice as well. My hands are clean, don't worry. Look at that. Look at that clean plate with just a rinse. Good plan. You're so smart. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of ginger. It's supposed to be a healthy soup here, guys. Now, you're supposed to grate it, but I don't have... I mean, I'm sure I have a grater somewhere, but I just don't know where it is right now, so... Yeah, um, I'm gonna chop it up. I'm gonna chop it up, okay? We're gonna chop it up nice and fine. Nice and fine. Little tiny, little tiny, little ginger. You're gonna get a bite of ginger in that soup, and you're gonna be like, ooh, wait. That's okay. This is healthy, it's good for you. I'm not being very professional about this right now. I should have done this one on the chopping board. Because ginger is one of those things where I can dice it, right? You know what? I have a pet peeve. So there's this YouTuber I watch, and there's lots of them out there who provide you with great healthy recipes, but like their whole channel is based on recipes and food. And then I see them cutting or doing something so so amateur and I just wonder I'm like this is your profession watch some more videos and learn how to be a cook if that's your whole channel I mean at least this is just a little vlog style channel I'm not a pro here and I'm not claiming to be but at least oh this is gonna be so gingery you guys I don't even know if I'm gonna like that but so there's probably two tablespoons almost there of ginger So, the next step is cut away the carrots, put this over here, and I'm going to do the, well, broccoli doesn't take too long and neither does mushrooms, but these take a long time to clean. Paper towel, and you need to rub off all the black spots. I used to just wash them in water, but my grandma swears that you're not supposed to do that, you're just supposed to gently wipe them up with a dry rag. So, gotta listen to your elders, right? Because they know what's best. That there. I think I'm gonna try to clean all of them, because whether I put them all in the soup or not, I do need to eat them up today or tomorrow. Whew. I'm really hungry. All I had today was that bowl of Cheerios with walnut and cinnamon. So this is going to go down real good. I need to stretch though, not arch. I should put the lid on that. Bring it to a boil again. So in her recipe book, she says to put the miso last, just to let it simmer a little bit. Which I understand, because I guess you want to keep Flavor. One is the mega, mega mush. Ooh. Little baby button mushrooms would be so good in a soup. We gotta work with what we get. This guy, I think I'm gonna save for eating with some hummus. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's put a few on the side to eat raw because I do like a good raw. Mushroom. I'm going to chop these puppies up. I try to remember that they shrink when they cook. Sometimes I cut them pretty small and then you don't see as much of it. So far, so good. We've got beets healthy. We've got carrots healthy. Mushrooms healthy. Okay, next we are going to do garlic, and normally I do garlic first. Okay, whoop. She's a boiling again, and it's very earthy because of the ginger and the 
beads. So I can just smell it. It smells like an earthy. Hey, it's coming along. Can you see that? I gotta throw in that onion. I'm just gonna dump it all in. Normally, normally, this is not how I cook. Normally I would pan fry the garlic and onion together first. But with this soup, I just wanted to make something quick, to be honest. I just wanted to see what I could do, see what I could come up with. But it's still not quick. I'm still sitting here making a video and chopping. Here's the thing, I just want to eat. These are already washed, thank goodness. And I'm gonna put almost all of it in there. Yesterday, yesterday, like I said, I ate unhealthy in the evening, but for lunch, I legit had two cups of steamed broccoli. What did you, what did you eat it with, you say? Well, <laughs> I ate it with, with a little bit of salt, a little bit of coconut oil, and then I think I had, what did I have? I think I added hummus. Yeah, I added some hummus to the side. But, like, I didn't add any carbs or anything with it. However, I did end up going for some more protein. And I'll show you what I had for protein after. But I've been buying some more vegan processed protein sources just because they're handy and they help with cravings, right? better to have that in the freezer than to order Domino's or Pizza 73. Yeah. <laughs> I had a friend over the summer who used to do that all the time. He'd be like, <laughs> and then I started doing it. It's like, oh. Okay. We're good. I have so much university stuff. Like, I need to finish reading some articles and start writing a paper as well. I need to get on my game. And I can't be on my game when I'm eating pizza and staying up till one o'clock in the morning watching Netflix. Sorry, not good. Not a good plan. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, this is good. The last time I tried miso, I was in university and that was like 10 years ago. So, <laughs> let's hope this is good. And it was a completely different brand than this. It was something from like the Asian market. That I got and it was wrapped in I remember I remember because it was weird it was wrapped in something it didn't come in a jar all conveniently like this one it was very strange I keep my garbage back there on the door so if that's what you're wondering I got pink beet juice on the wall so I need to wipe that off okay this is the stevia I bought from Amazon oh it's not bigger I thought it was bigger than my vanilla. It's not. I lied. This is the vanilla. This is the... It just felt little. I don't know. They're the same. But this felt big. I don't know. So now I got vanilla and hazelnut. Yay me! I haven't had a coffee today yet. Alright, so we're just going to let you simmer and do some dishes. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan? Good. Good, good, good. Bing, bada, boom. Looking. We're going to do the dishes. We're going to do the dishes. We're going to do the dishes. We got a clean dish, we gotta put away. This job never ends, I swear. You clean all the dishes, and then the next thing you know, you have more dishes. See, then I'm just gonna add the miso. The miso. Oh, I didn't add the garlic, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do these dishes real quick. And then I'll add the garlic. Because I do have a lot of garlic. I hate leaving it to the last minute and all of them, so I can be known for that. You used to have a friend that would ask me, can I hang out with you? I'll do your dishes. Hi, okay, so I'm back and I decided to do the taste test on cam. It's coffee time. 
Are you ready? Get your mugs up. I need a nice, nice French vanilla Tassimo. And she's ready. She's ready. Oh, she's ready. She's ready for some almond milk. She's ready for some sweetener. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And this is the part I should have done off camera. <laughs> Taking off the plastic. I'm always going to shake up the sweetener as well. Just because, you know. Ooh, it came off really easily. Oh, it's empty. Okay, squeeze. Squeeze. It goes about halfway. So let's do one, two, three, four drops and see what it tastes like. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. And once again, I don't use a spoon to measure my milk because I like pretty much half a cup of milk. Half a mug of milk. See that? See that? I do use this to stir. Now, I do like a little bit of white sugar on top of this, but let's just try it raw first. I must say, it smells delicious. It smells really good. I could drink it like that, but it's still kind of... Let's add a few more. So four, five, six. It's, it's like always that game of like, if I push too hard, it'll all come out, so I have to be careful. Okay, so six drops. Let's see what six drops taste like. Ready? My coffee's kind of cold now. I need to warm it up. Not cold, but like warm. It's not really making it sweeter. So add more. Shake it, shake it. So that was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh. Ten drops. Oh no, I'm getting a red light. What does that mean? Is my... My battery is not empty. Okay, let's try it. Okay, now I taste the stevia a little bit, and it's more sweet, which is nice. I'm going to warm this up, though. I'm going to warm this up. Pause life. While we wait, should I add a little sugar sugar and have it how I usually test out if it's better than the vanilla? The vanilla tastes really... I can't even describe to you what the taste is, because it's... You know, like that. <laughs> it is a different brand though. So this is Stevia Select and this is Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops. So, so far I'm liking this one better because it's lighter. You don't get that really strong fake smell to it. So yeah, and now my next coffee I'm also, or maybe I'll just do it with this one. I'm, I'm curious to see if I add the two together because if you add hazelnut and vanilla together then you get a French vanilla. I do not like coffee that is not warm, so let's try her warm. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Now she's hot. <laughs> now she's hot. Okay. We want a little sugar, because we're not completely weaned off of it yet. So we're just going to add less than a teaspoon. And I find even just adding that little bit helps a lot and brings out the flavors of the drops. And defeats the purpose of not having sugar. But, what can I say? Mmm! That good! You know? That is good! That was, what, 10 drops? I could add some more of this. Whereas this one, if you add too much, it just tastes gross. So 10, 11, 12 drops. I think 12 will be my sweet spot. No pun intended. Okay. Let's try this out. And I might add a little more milk just because I did heat it up pretty. Yeah, let's just do a little bit because it's really hot now. Now, I'm just curious. I'm not going to add too much of this because we don't want to be tasting the stevia. But I'm, I want a little vanilla in there. Just two, three, or it's probably too much, but we should have done two, but whatever. Just just to see if it tastes like a French vanilla. I used to be obsessed with French vanilla. At university, they had those French vanilla machines, and it's important they have them, and they're so good. Huh. 
Hi, how are ya? <laughs> oh, I just heard something in my stomach. That good. That real good. So thank you for watching. Uh, definitely recommend this brand before I would ever recommend this brand. But together, they marry and they're happy. Okay, so now I'm going to go. Uh, I have so much footage to edit and upload and... Yeah, I'm running out of storage on my phone. So now I'm using my camera and yeah, let's just keep going. Keep going. Bam. Alright. I'm making dinner and I have a pile of lettuce here. It's about, it's only four, four, uh, which one do you call it? Four, four, put that out of the way. Four leaves of lettuce and it made all this. So I thought what's good with pizza and it's healthy. A salad, a Caesar salad. I don't have Caesar salad dressing, but I do have this and this and together they kind of give you that Caesar vibe. Not really, but kind of. It's hard to explain. I also cut up those um, mushrooms that were raw, the three mushrooms or whatever, and I'm going to put in some of this um, hemp seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle it over. And I'm really hungry. I had, what did I have? So I had the Cheerios today. Then I had two bowls of that veggie soup. The miso soup. And then I had, oh, what did I have? Oh, 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 oh. I had, yes, I had one wing. A little pinch of curly fries left over with some dip. And then I had a coffee. And I was pretty full, so I've been just drinking my water. I'm almost done my two liters of water. And what was that? Anyway, and then I told myself I'm not eating again until I'm done reading my article for school. So I really had to finish that article. I need to finish these readings today because I just have to. And that was the longest one. It was 12 pages, but seven, really, if you take away references. So, yeah. So anyway, I just finished, and this looks so divine. I'm going to have more unhealthy pizza, but I feel okay about it because I haven't been binging this evening. And I'm going to put my vegan dressing on here. Of course, pizza's not vegan, but you know what? It's vegetarian. Then I'm going to add a scoop of hummus. Throw it on there for extra protein and creaminess. And try to mix it in or just eat it like that, whatever. I'm the type of person that when I eat a salad... I like to toss it and mix it all up. Okay, so I took it out of the fridge and now there's no space in the fridge for it again. Where did I even take it from? I don't know. I was debating on cutting up this apple and putting it in the salad, but honestly, I'm hungry and I don't have time for that right now. So I'm just gonna add some olives to it. And then I'm gonna grab a clean spoon to take the olives out, just cause I don't want the water in the olive jar to get all gross. Speaking from experience here, and I like to put the water from the olives on my food sometimes because it has a little salty flavor. Okay, should I mix it a bit? My pizza's gonna get cold if I take too much time. This is the last head of lettuce that I have that I need to use up, so I'm doing good, but it's a little wilty, like a little bit. So I'm just sitting it in some cool water for now, and this will be for the bunnies outside. Croutons. I have toast, but I haven't opened it yet. And I'm waiting because I'm going to do a special video on this new bread I bought. I also have some. What do I have? I have pretzel crackers, but I'm also saving those for a video. What else do I have? I have rice. Little rice crackers I could add to this. My rice crackers. What else do I have? Oh, you know what we get on this is nutritional yeast. I actually love nutritional yeast on raw veg. Oh, I hope I didn't put too much dressing on this. Mm. Sesame seeds and stuff would be good on this, too. Too much pizza. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Let's do it. Okay, there you are. So this is nutritional yeast, but I put it in a random container that says mac and cheese sauce. I got this jar from Dollar Tree, like, years ago, and it's been empty. So I just refill it with nutritional yeast because I think... I think I'm really clever. Okay. I want some seeds and stuff, so I'm just gonna put this on it. The everything but the bagel. 
because it has like sesame seeds, poppy seeds. I could put some chia seeds on there. Why not put some Cheerios on there? But I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to try it out for you guys. And then I'm going to go sit on my couch, aka dining room. And I'm going to eat this while I... Should I read my next report or just dull, indulge in some Netflix? The thing is, once I turn on Netflix or YouTube and start eating, game over, man. I'm done for the day. And it's like 8.30, so it's tempting. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little strong. A little bit strong. Mmm. With the pizza, it'll be okay, but I might need it. I might need a crouton in this. I put a little too much dressing. Mmm. Let's try it with this. I bought these the other day. Fine, her. Thin stackers. You know what? Oh, cute. They come in like pack. I like that. They come in stacks. Thin stackers. Hello. I just thought it was like a whole thing though. This is nice though because then you can take one package at a time for lunches and stuff. Yeah, you did. You brought convenience to my life. Thank you. They better. These were expensive. I can't remember how much these were, but they're in like my previous blog blog thing. They were pricey. I think like I want to say seven or eight dollars. Well, let's just like make some healthy croutons out of this. I like a good. Oh. Doritos would be good in this, but that ain't healthy. And I don't have any. Ooh, I have Lay's chips, though. We'll save those for a desperate moment. This will do me just fine. I just need that crunch and something to soak up some of the dressing. And this is actually going to be perfect for that because these are bland. Like, these don't have a flavor to them. Mmm, they have a little bit of flavor. You can, like the ro you can taste the rosemary, but it's fine. Fine herbs, organic brown rice, sea salt, and herbs. It doesn't say what kind of herb, but I can definitely taste rosemary. Oregano, maybe, I taste? Or rosemary? Does it say? Where's the ingredient list? <sighs> Puffed rice cakes. Oh, here we go. Brown rice, sea salt, marjoram, basil, oregano, hello, I called it. Oh, thyme, yeah, savory, and sage. I should have guessed sage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients. This is a pure product, guys. None of them, none of those ingredients are oil. Sea salt, brown rice, marjoram, basil, oregano, thyme, savory, and sage. One, two, three, four, five, six spices with salt and brown rice. What? That's all to make these? That is really cool. And this satisfies a lot of my cravings. Something crunchy like chips or if I want peanut butter toast or if I want, you know, avocado toast or a sandwich. It's not bread, but if I'm, you know, if I just need something quite a good alternative. Hello! Okay, I'm going. I need to go eat. I'm hungry.